Hey guys, Dachu22 here, and welcome to a special presentation uh, featuring um, the Wii, and uh, in this case, it's uh, a virtual console game, and unless I am mistaken, I don't think it's available everywhere, but in any case, uh, what we have here is just your run-of-the-mill hockey game from the uh, Sega Genesis. It was 16-bit, so obviously the graphics are not that great, and plus, you know, the gameplay was a lot more simpler back then. So anyway, let me set up the options here, okay. Let me just uh, adjust the difficulty here. Yes. Five minutes, uh, otherwise everything else is good. So, uh, if I can just get, there we go. So now we can just play the game. And uh, obviously, being that this is from 1994, uh, the number of teams as well as the teams that were there at the time reflect that from 1994, so remember that. So you have, uh, let's start from, um, oh, okay. Uh, I'm just wanna, I just wanna go back to, uh, um, okay. Um, alright, well, okay, so they're not in, uh, alphabetical order. Uh, okay. <coughs> I guess we could start with, um, oh, I'm going back in reverse, I'm sorry. Okay, so we have, oh yeah, so from... A to Z, we have the Anaheim Mighty Ducks, as they were known at the time, the Boston Bruins, the Buffalo Sabres, the Calgary Flames, the Chicago Blackhawks, the Dallas Stars, the Detroit Red Wings, the Edmonton Oilers, the Florida Panthers, the Hartford Whalers, the Los Angeles Kings, the Montreal Canadiens, New Jersey Devils, the New York Islanders, as well as the New York Rangers, the Ottawa Senators, the Philadelphia Flyers, the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Quebec Nordiques, the St. Louis Blues, the San Jose Sharks, the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and Vancouver and the Vancouver Canucks. Oh yeah, the Washington Capitals. I almost forgot about them. And of course, the Winnipeg Jets. So we're gonna have the Winnipeg Jets be one of the teams. And then as for the other team, uh, I guess we can go with uh, the Quebec Nordiques. So yeah, these are two of my favorite teams from the past. And it was sad that they lost the teams, like Winnipeg and Quebec. Like, uh, Winnipeg was uh, relocated to uh, Phoenix uh, to become the Phoenix Coyotes, and the Quebec Nordiques would later become the Colorado Avalanche. So, uh, I mean, while Winnipeg got their team back, uh, Quebec is still trying to get a team back. So, with that said, let's begin. And I'm going to let the computer play this one. Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Clement, and welcome to ESPN's National Hockey Night. Yes, uh, Bill Clement was uh, part of uh, ESPN at the time. A really good broadcaster, if I do say so myself. All right, let's go down to ice level for the opening face-off. Well, thank you, Bill. So... Uh, being that this game is not that, um, well, being that this is not exactly cutting-edge technology, as it would later be in, um, you know, until th games went into 3D, whoa, and a goal by number 13 of Winnipeg. Wow, that was a really quick one. So, as you can see, the gameplay is much, much simpler, um... I mean, it's gotten, it got better in terms, like, the gameplay used to be, like, uh, very, very slow-paced, like, in the NES era, 
And then when they went to the Genesis, uh, as you can see, the gameplay got a bit faster. But by the time uh, it went into 3D, you could tell, like, like you could have names on the people. Like, how do I put this? You could have names on uh, the jerseys, which you can't tell because, well, uh, the graphical limitations were prevalent to the point where they couldn't even put the guy's name on the... Uh, you know, on the jersey, let alone on the screen. So they just go by number. But uh, otherwise, it plays really well. I really like this game. But uh, now that I've explained everything that I could about this game, uh, in blue is Winnipeg, and in white is uh, Quebec, uh, the Quebec Nordiques. And so far, Winnipeg leads the game 1-0. So, Quebec needs to do something to get a score up on the board. Ooh, and a nice hit, but it's a penalty, unfortunately. And it's for roughing for Winnipeg number 3. Okay. So, with a penalty, uh, Winnipeg is down one man, and Quebec is on the power play. And it looks like we have another penalty. This time, Quebec has a penalty, number 19, for tripping. So, with each man in the box, it's now four on four. And uh, aside from the fact that each man is in the box, it just opens up more space uh, to play. And we have another penalty. Quebec number 31 for tripping. So far, uh, Winnipeg has four men on the ice as opposed to Quebec's uh, three. And another goal by the same guy, number 13 of Winnipeg. Just a great shot. And that was a power play goal. And, wow, another roughing penalty by uh, Quebec. I mean, I'm telling you, they have more penalties than they do goals. I'm telling you. But, as you can see on the top left of the screen, you can see that uh, uh, Winnipeg has about 40 seconds for uh, the guy in the box to come out for them. And uh, Quebec... And just as soon as I say that, Winnipeg scores again. And right now, Winnipeg is on fire. I mean, they are up by three against Quebec. And a good shot by Quebec, but we're going to have a face-off. So yeah, whenever the goaltender holds on to the puck for a, speci a, a specified amount of time... If he holds on to the puck long enough, the referee will whistle and we'll have a face-off nearby the uh, goalkeeper. And that's the end of the first period. And yes, they call them by they call them periods. And it's not four quarters, it's not two halves, it's three periods. And why they call them periods instead of thirds, I, I'll never know, but... Um... Uh, but just take it for what it is, really. And, uh, okay. So far, Winnipeg is up three to, three to nothing, and uh, we'll find out if Quebec is going to recover uh, right after this message.